Hello everyone, my name is Just James and welcome back to another episode on the Atomic Craft server. Today it is episode 12, I believe, and we're starting off over at the redstone shop where that we built in the last episode because apparently we've got a few custom orders here. Shark's villager trading hall locking system, which we'll speak about later, and also a Wolf's Hill Mango TNT duper that he needs doing after he's done with his tree farm. And then what else have we got? Have we got any custom orders up here? Oh. Alex needs some supplies. I'm sold quite a bit. 15. Okay, 21. 27. Okay, we're all out of them. 31. 33. 48. Non torches. But 48 diamonds start off the episode. That's not bad. And if you actually look in here, between episodes, we've already gained quite a big amount of diamonds we're up to two and a half stacks now i've also if you didn't notice added redstone lamps comparators uh, what else have i added uh, i think that's it between episodes as well and in today's episode i want to work on getting a reliable source of string to be able to stock up things like dispensers and droppers however before we actually get started on today's plans a lot of things have happened between episodes and one of them is that we got pranked by treg he sent us all the way to the world border i'll show them clips now go this way all right i swear if this sends us to the other corner of the world i'm gonna be uh, rather sad <laughs> what a dude what an absolute dude if you guys can't tell this is the other corner of the world and i'm pretty sure where the next one was gonna go I'm guessing that, that eventually I'll just end up back at like the shopping district or something. It's basically playing me like I played him, but it's 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 all about the fun really. Wow. Now go back to the original area. That is dope, everyone. So after that happened, Treg finally told me what's up. I might as well explain myself. So for your prank, when I had to go to the cord thingy, I used up a lot of rockets yeah. and I died a lot. Yeah. So I decided... Maybe it's a good thing to make James spend a little bit of time on his prank, too. Yeah. So, I, I, I also decided that, when I was thinking about it, why not go to the world borders? Having you go to, like, all of them. Here you go. There was nothing along the way. I had the whole prize the whole time. I, I thought so. I sort of got around and I was like, no, there's no way there's anything, but... <laughs> I wanted to make you go around, like, a second time and say, observe, make sure you look at everything. Also, I know you need redstone, and here's another stack, just, oh, to, just in case. Thank you, man. Because I, mean, I got, know you can get diamonds off of that. I've got plenty, but cheers. Did I go too far? I just no, wanted to make sure I didn't. No, no, it's, it's good, it's good. But it's fine. <laughs> I hope you enjoy, and maybe you can become a customer, so I don't have to prank you again next time. Anyway, I'll see you again. I, <laughs> I'll see you again. Alright, um, I look forward to it, man. You won't, you won't. We also built the villager trading hall system that Shark wanted doing between clips. I also helped out Alex with a couple of new machines that he needed doing, but unfortunately I don't have any footage of either of them things. Anyways, like I said, in today's episode we're going to be trying to get a reliable source of string so that we can start selling dispensers. And if you guys remember earlier on in the season, I actually discovered a mineshaft just under where the starter base is. I'm hoping that there's quite a few cave spider spawners in close proximity to me. I've managed to find two of these spawners. I thought I found three, but when looking back at my screenshots, I've only found two. And apparently, they are only six blocks away from each other on the Z. So I think this one is here, and there should be another one this way a bit, and then somewhere over that way, I believe. I've actually just managed to find another one that's uh, slightly closer to... The other ones, so this one is, I think this one is relatively a lot closer to the one that's somewhere off in this direction, I believe. So I'm hoping that eventually I'm going to run into this one. It should just be a couple more blocks this way. Maybe it's down or oh, I'm, I'm not too sure on the Y coordinate. Yes, it's there. There it is. So this, I think... That one, which I think is this around here, I think that one and that one might connect, but I don't think this one and that other one's going to connect because that just feels too far away. So I'm going to use these two for the spawners so we can have a double spawning mechanism. What I'm going to do now is just dig out this entire area 
and see if they do link up. So I've dug these two areas out and as you can see that's one and that's another one and they are both working together if I stand in this spot and I believe there's actually quite a lot of a uh, movement room where I can AFK at and both of them still go as you can see I can even yeah right here like this is the corner of the square one of the corners anyway like around here where they both work so We've got quite a massive area to work with in terms of the build surrounding this. I need to dig both of these down a few blocks. So I just want them both on the same Y level. Because I'm going to fill the bottoms up with magma. And then below the magma I'm going to have rails with uh, two separate hopper minecart tracks that feed it into a centralised storage system. So I've just fully finished digging this out, there's a few more things that we need to do in order to prep the area, like I want all this area to be stunned, I know we're not going to see it, but I don't know, I think it'll just look better than that. And they're all down to the same Y level, so that's Y13, and that's Y13, and the reason why it's the same Y level is it just makes my life a lot easier. Now what we're going to do is we're going to dig out this layer of stone at the bottom, and fill this up with magma cubes. And then underneath that, we're going to have a hopper minecart that picks up all of the drops. The reason why I'm not turning this into an XP grinder or doing this manually is because I don't need the XP. We've got the gold farm on the serve. We've got the enderman farm. We've got the skeleton sp spawner. We don't, we don't really need another source of XP, at least for now anyway. So I just need to go gather up some magma, some rails and things. And then we can get started on trying to bring up the area where I want the storage. I'm going to mark out where I can stand to AFK in. Because we're not going to be able to see these. I did want... Oh my god, Jesus Christ. Where the hell did you come from? <sighs> Jesus. I thought these were lit up anyway. Oh. oh my god. What the hell? Do I need to light this area up? I feel like maybe over there I might need to light the area up a little bit better. But yeah, what I want to do is have some on and off switches as well. I want to be able to um, have an actual room here that looks nice. One area here, they're going to be closed off from us. There's going to be um, redstone lamps on the top that we can switch on and off. Storage system. And yeah, just a nice room and then maybe a build on the surface level so that we've got a way down. We're just on the way over to the witch farm to grab some redstone. And I see this random part, so I'll come to check it out. And what the hell? I think someone's in the process of making a map or has just made a plain white map. I'm not I'm not too sure though, like it's in here. Oh that is weird. That is so weird. I don't Hello? How do I get out? Oh oh. Okay, alright. That's that's super weird, that's cool, that's cool. So I guess they've made like an infinity room. Like I've been saying, the next stage is to dig this down by two. And get some rails in place because we're gonna have some rails going along like grab some we're gonna have rail like this and then a bunch of rails 
going along like this in sort of a zigzag pattern going back and forth with magma over the top. I've got both areas now filled in with magma and obviously I've got the rails in place just underneath that but what we've got to do now is just dig our way down because right where this rail is here we need to link up the system that allows the hopper minecart to unload itself, send it down a hopper line and into a water stream which and the way that we are going to set up this system is that we need to put a hopper right there so the minecart will ride on top of this hopper we, we then need to dig this area out sorry and then we need to put a computer right there find this out then we need a redstone dust right here on top of this block here we need a torch a block right there a Repeater, which we've already got in our inventory, sorry. A repeater right there, and a block on top. So that when we take these out, as you can see, this is powered, which means that we have powered rails right there. Obviously, right here, we are going to just a normal rail, which I'm glad I have got. And then when there's something in this hopper right here, this turns off, which means the minecart stays stationary until this has emptied out. And the minecart gets sent back off to pick up its items and we need to do that on this side as well and then right here we need a dispenser clock which shoots them up a water stream across some hoppers and into some chests which i've already sort of got where i want them anyway laid out i've now got this bottom section all done it's not as good as i wanted it to be though because of this system right here oh this is mine there Anyway, as I was saying, it's not perfect. It's not how I wanted it to be because of this system right here. I would have had a different system, but water over here, and if I had the uh, comparator here, it would have locked quite a few hoppers, so I couldn't really do that system. I've had to go on with this, which means it's a little bit noisy, but, but it works, which is the main important thing. And then we're going to have a water stream up here. We'll obviously block this up so no water gets on any of the redstone or the rails. It'll go over the top of some hoppers up there and over the top of chest, but I've got to go buy some wood for that. And then I think I can install some redstone lamps, which I've got, I think, a stack of in my redstone box. And then, yeah, we're good to uh, give, this, give this a go. Right, so I've just finished setting up the water streams. Everything should be in place. So if I put in, I don't know, let's say three bones, four string, and two diorite, we should see these. If I can get up here, out. Should see these into this chest right here um that's weird so it got everything but like a few items oh you seem to have split off into the top chest first which is even more weird but that shouldn't really matter that seems to happen a lot on this server i wonder if that's a paper thing or a vanilla thing i'm not i'm not too sure but shouldn't work like that if i remember correctly anyway yeah I've, I've decided to decorate this place a little bit here i can't do that for the rest of this system because i'm unfortunately running out of time so i'm just going to install the lamps and then completely darken this place off put a switch here for now i might move that later on then in case myself an afk for a while and so i think i've got this side set up and I hate doing this part, but now that these lamps are in, it should be safe enough to start breaking these torches that I've placed around here temporarily. I am so scared. I hate doing this part of any sort of mob spawner, especially cave spiders, because they can climb up the walls and oh, they're just they're just horrible creatures. If I'm honest, I think this is working. So if I just Press this button right here, the whole thing should switch off. Oh, they're coming for me, they're coming for me, they're coming for me. But yeah, that seemed to have worked. So now I can open this up. But yeah, they're dead. And we don't currently have a pickup system yet, but that seems to work because when I switch it off, everything just goes pitch black. So now I've got to do it on that side as well. And I'm going to try and link it up to this same lever. I'm not sure how well that would work. And then I just need to send the minecart hoppers going back and forth. And then I think all the farm is completely finished. Oh my god, what on earth's happened? What the hell? What's happened here? 
I think all the things he, I think what it was is when I was entering that light, I actually broke into the water stream. So, oh no. So the farm's not done yet, but it was nearly finished. Once I've got that fixed and put some hoppers down there, we should be good to go. I'm hoping that this is enough things so that I don't have to do another trip, but oh, that is bad. Oh, that's really annoyed me. This system is all fully built up now, so we can move on and give this thing a full test. I've just got to place in the magma blocks right here. Put this stone right there. I put one there, but that shouldn't really matter. And then just round that stone. And I think it's all done. So let's just give this thing a bit of a test run. If we just flick this lever, then we should start getting cave spiders spawning in. Everything should be pitch black here. Yes, yes. Oh, I've not even put the minecarts in, but I'll go quickly do that. What about over here? All the lights are turned off. The spike, the string right there. Yes, there we go. Right, so the whole thing is working. I just need to get some hopper minecarts in place. And then, I believe, we're done. Then we just send these off. So that can go there. Go on its merry way. Put that one there, that can go on its merry way. And then we should see these arrive back with some string. Hopefully, I'm just gonna stand in this spot here. I think this is far enough away. We're on the way back now. And if that's picked anything up, we should see it stop. Let me just check. Yep. There we go. That seems to have picked up quite a lot. Alright, alright, that seems to all be working. The system seems to be functioning. Now, yeah, I'm going to go stand at the top and see what the rates are for this thing. So far, we've already got about half a stack, which is which is, which is is quite good, actually. But, yeah, we're going to... I'm going to box myself in here, and I'm going to go AFK. And I think I'm out of time for the video, unfortunately, guys. So if you have enjoyed it, give it a like and consider subscribing if you are brand new around here. Because we will do things like this in the future. But I'm done for this episode. See ya!